Alright guys, James here from 5 Star Rating 22, second part of the Tau Battle Suit painting tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Um, I had a lot of fun painting this, and I hope you guys get some cool new techniques. Alright, as you can see here, I've got all the two uh, colors put on, and now we're going to start getting into the highlighting. So, all base colors are put on, we've got a, a, a wash and all that stuff put in, so now we get to the fun part of... Oh, I forgot, we're going to do this first. It's actually... Uh, I, bore out, I forgot to bore out the part of the plasma gun here, so I went ahead and bore that out. And then after that, we're actually going to add our accent color. Color. Um, and I'm using my Wargamer uh, from Army Painter character brush and I'm going to add the accent color which is electric blue from the yellow game color as well. I added it to this cable here you can see that I'm painting um, that's on the plasma gun. So a nice uh, nice even coat of that. Again this is thinned out uh, one part paint to one part thinner. And you can see here I did the tips of the uh, rockets or missiles in the missile pod. I did the antenna tops. I did that in the blue as well. And I also did the very, very tip part of the, of the barrel on the plasma rifle as well. I did the light or the buttons on the front of the chest there, and then I also did the lens, the three lenses, in the helmet area as well in the electric blue. The back of the missile pods were also done in the blue. So you can see there, got most of it on. And then you can see I go back and I do a little bit of touch up there. You always want to go back uh, after you add a color and do any touch ups that you may need to do. Alright, so with electric blue, did the cord, the antennas, back of the missile, front of the missiles, two buttons on the chest, and the eye sensors. Now we're taking and doing our highlight. Uh, this is the first part on the edge highlighting. I use scarlet red from game color, but yellow as well. I'm using my character brush from Army Painter. And for this first edge highlighting, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to the whole model from all angles to the very edge of the plating. Uh, I'm pretty much going to draw a line, a little bit thicker line, about the width of the paintbrush I'm using around every single plate of armor and along the creases in the armor with this scarlet red. Well, what that's going to do is add a nice highlight and a nice transition for the secondary highlight that we're going to add to the red armor from the top parts. But on this one here, we want to add this to add this to all plates, even the lower parts um, as well, because it's going to add some nice. Uh, it's going to add depth to the model. So you can see here, I'm taking my time and I'm just drawing. Uh, I'm outlining pretty much the armor plates here, just giving it a nice a nice thin line about the width of the paintbrush I'm using uh, along all the edges and in between all the armor plates, as you can see here. Not down in the crevices, but just right along the edges here and along any creases. And I took a little extra time on this to let you guys get a get a, hopefully get a good view at uh, what I'm doing here and kind of the width that I'm doing it in. Again, this is the scarlet red from the yellow game color. It's a little bit brighter than the mechrite red with the wash that we had put down before. And when you're doing your highlighting, you always want to have uh, you always want to have it a little bit brighter as you go. Like I said in my orc painting tutorial, normally I like to do my line highlighting or edge highlighting in two layers with uh, two colors. So in this one, I decided that uh, I'd show you guys how I how I would normally do that. So this would be the first edge highlight that I'm giving here. And when I do my first edge highlight, I will do it to every part of the armor um, all over instead of just focusing from the top view like I normally do. And again, here's just some more demonstrations of, of all the places that I'm putting it, you know. I know it's hard for the hard to kind of differentiate due to uh, due to it being on camera and the colors being so close and uh, so similar in, in, in hue but I'm hoping that you guys will be able to see uh, a little bit of, of of what I'm doing here and hopefully get an idea of of the process
Now on corners and stuff like that, you want to make sure that you add, you know, uh, a line to the to both sides of the corner, an equal, you don't know, of equal equal uh, width. Uh, so you see, pretty much, pretty much what you're doing is outlining every piece of every piece of armor. You're just you're just drawing an outline of it um, with the with the scarlet red. So there you can see now I've added it all over. You can kind of get a, a good idea of 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 what uh, what it adds here. It adds some highlights, some depth to the model. Uh, you can see that see that uh, all right there. You can see it's added on all over to the weapon edges, everything. All right, so now we go on and we're going to add uh, add some more highlighting. Now I'm taking bloody red from Gabe Color for yellow as well, and my insane detail brush, which is a nice uh, thin, really thin, fine point brush. And now I'm going to add the second edge highlight to the armor place. Now this time I'm just going to concentrate pretty much on the upper parts of the armor, on the parts that that would the sun would be hitting if it were at 12 o'clock noon on the model. So you can see here you want to draw the line thinner than the line you drew with the with the scarlet with the red scarlet just a nice thin line and that's why I'm using a thinner brush it really helps to it helps to keep within the within the edges of that scarlet red that we had because you still want that to be on there so you're just doing a really thin line now on parts yeah now you can see I'm just concentrating on the higher parts of the model that would be seen from above just drawing a nice thin line also on the antennas I did it and um, on when when it when it gets to the point where it's almost the width of the paintbrush, you gotta be really careful because you want to add just you know, you you don't want to take away the other colors. You want to leave part of the other colors that are on there. And on some of these, you want to travel down the corners a little bit on the upper parts. Um, even though the sun would be directly hitting it, it might get a little bit of reflection light uh, if it's shutting out just enough. So you can see there now. Um, I'm adding some more highlights to the the back ball part here. Now on those bolts that are on those uh, connector bolts there, those just got pure bloody red because they were so thin that they were thinner than the width of my paintbrush. So I just gave the the whole part of those things on that ball part there uh, the bloody red. And then see, like I said, I was carrying the line down a little bit on the backpack there. All right, so you can see there we go. We've got the the second highlight done with the bloody red, and now you can start to really uh, see the depth that kind of pops out there. I even did it on the edge parts of the foots because they were kind of hanging out uh, from the edge of the model. So you can see there now we have some nice depth to our red armor with the second highlight applied. Now we're gonna take uh, this is uh, white from Game Color for Yellow as well. They're white. And I'm going to take the same uh, insane detail brush, and I'm going to add a line highlight to all the all the upper parts of the elfic flesh paint that we had added on. Now I'm only doing one one uh, highlight color to these due to the lightness of the paint. There wouldn't be there wouldn't be you could mix uh, one part elfic flesh to one part uh, white, and and then have a secondary highlight, but. It's such a light color, anyways, that with the white, it'll get a nice enough uh, highlight that that they um it'll get it'll get the point across and it'll, it'll it'll show the nice definition that you want with just the one highlight. So you can kind of see. I know it's really hard. I tried to focus in as much, but you can kind of see there. It's just nice thin lines drawn on that adds some depth to the model. Now it's hard to see on camera. Um, but but believe me, it does it does add difference and it does add definition to the model. So there you go. You can kind of see it around the helmet there and the shoulder pads, some of the white highlighting that we did, or that I did. All right, now we're going to take silver from Game Color, uh, the yellow Game Color as well. And on the silver parts, I'm going to use Insane Detail Brush, and we're also only going to do one highlight to this. But we're going to do it to all edge parts, not just the higher parts, because I wanted to brighten this armor up a, a bit uh, like I had said before, since they're tau, I wanted to kind of represent that their armor would probably be a little better taken care of. Yeah, that's that's the way I'd like to think of them at least. So you can see here, I'm just kind of uh, outlining the edges, or uh, adding adding the silver to the edges of uh, of the armor of the silver that we had put on before, with the insane detail brush uh, from Wargamer as well. Nice thin lines. You can see I added it onto the bolts on the backpack as well, just kind of outlining it, and then onto the edge of the vents as well on the backpack.
the back vents. And then on the vents on the front, I did add a thin line to that, uh, thin line to the raised parts on that as well. Now we're taking Azerman Blue uh, Citadel uh, wash, and I'm going to take uh, my standard my standard brush from uh, Games Workshop as well, and I'm just going to add some blue wash to the blue parts um, here as well. I'm adding it to, you can see I added it to that cable um, that's on the plasma rifle gun. I added a, a dot and an outline to the antenna parts as well, and then around the, the very, uh, very tip of the muzzle of the plasma rifle as well. And then onto the back of where the where the missile pod rockets are as well, adding it around the edge of it too to kind of blend it into the blend it into the red parts of the armor. Not too thick of a coat. It's kind of nice thin. So that's done. Now we're gonna take ghost gray, and with the ghost gray here, we're gonna go ahead and paint in the very center end part of the missile pods just to give it a little bit of character uh, make it look uh, more like a rocket uh, kind of a missile rocket uh, ammo I would I would like to imagine that it would look like just to add something to it you could add like a red tip uh, to it or a yellow tip if you if you'd like that better but I added the ghost gray it's kind of got a blue uh, hue or blue uh, tint to the white alright now I'm taking black here from the yellow game color as well it's just plain black and I'm going to start adding a uh, uh, wear effect to the weapon here to show that it's you know it's been fired and used and pretty much what I'm doing is just drawing lines out I'm um, just really trying to th make the lines as thin as possible and I'm going to start right up at the top make the lines thicker thicker closest to the barrel and then start to thin them out the farther back I go but trying to continue the lines all the way down so you can kind of see here uh, the the damage or the the wear, wear effect that I'm trying to get on to the end of the gun here as if it's fired a lot so it's just a bunch of thin lines just uh, concentrated more towards the end of the barrel and then drawn back then I added a, a paint wash which is you know black with about three parts thinner to it and then just put it right into the vents on the tip of the uh, rifle as well to give that the depth to show that those vents are in there on the on the very end all right, so there you go. You can see I got the got the wear effect done to the end of the barrel of the gun there, and I did yeah, I did leave just a little bit of that blue that we had put on there underneath to show through, uh, just so you could have the effect. Now I'm taking livery green from the yellow game color in my insane detail brush and adding that to one of the one of the buttons on the chest there to the left one, and then I'm also going to add just a little bit of uh, a couple lines into the lens there uh, at the top and at the bottom just to add some depth to that. Now I'm going to take uh, the yellow game color white and my insane detail brush and I'm going to take and add a reflective dot to the lens there just the very top there uh, very tip of the brush I just got a little bit of white on it and I'm just going to add a small 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 as I can dot to the very upper right corner of that lens to add uh, to make it look more like a lens and then I'm also going to take the skull or the white and Add uh, add some highlights to the edge of the of the back of the missile pods there to add some depth. I also took the the white and added a line to the very top part of the power of the cable back there to add to add some depth to that and give that a highlight as well. And that's just pure white thinned out. One part paint, one part white, and then to the very top left corners on the antenna pieces as well, I added a, a a little a little dot of skull white, and then I took some more green just to get that color nice on the front button there, and I also took green again since it's uh, it was watered out. I put another coat on the bottom there to give it a nice uh, nice color. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you back here for part three. Uh, thanks a lot.